Welcome back to Shantae Risky's Revenge! Last time, we cleared Battle Tower, and thankfully, I don't need to do that anymore. That being said, while we did get the second magic seal, we also got a key. So, wherever could we use this key? Well, there was one locked door that we never actually got a key for that we encountered a while back, so... I guess we'll go find that then. So, right here we've got a nice little shortcut, uh, if you just hop on through this area. Uh, a few obstacles, but nothing too major. Uh, you can probably dodge those with ease. But if you go through here, we wind up back in this area with some ambush enemies. That was rude. <laughs> I, d I don't like their positioning there. It's mean. I guess they're healing items, so it's fine, but still, meh. Anyway, uh, not really much to do on the walk back, so... See you in a sec. Oh, I guess there is one thing uh, that I completely forgot about somehow. Uh, new enemies have actually been added to the overworld. Uh, we didn't used to have those mummies here, but yeah, no, now they're just new enemies. It's kind of a neat way to go about things. Uh, chances are you're probably going to be doing at least a little bit of backtracking. Well, I mean, you will be doing backtracking. It would be way longer to find that other teleporter and get to where you need to go. It's much easier to just duck through pumpkin fields, but yeah, there's a little bit of new stuff here you're going to want to watch out for. That being said, our goal here for now is Tangle Forest. This is, in fact, where we will be spending a lot of our time this episode. You wouldn't expect it, but there is actually a decent amount to do here still. So, where do we want to go? We want to hop on over to the back. Or the front, I guess. Yeah, no, this is, this is the front layer. This is in front of everything. Though if we turn the world around... No, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, that's dumb. Anyway, yes, if you'll remember, this passageway here has the locked door we need this key for. So now, we are in this little puzzle room, I guess. Well, it's not really a puzzle room, it's more of a fight room. Either way, though, we're seeing a lot more of these gray blocks that we can't do anything about, so... Chances are, by the end of this, we'll absolutely be able to do something about those blocks. In fact, they're impeding our way right there. How rude. Ah, oh, we've also got more of these slimes whom I so despise. I so despise. <laughs> I despise these slimes. I do not like their random patterns of attack. I do not appreciate them and their tendency to ruin... <laughs> ruin recordings. It's very mean, and I think they should consider my feelings. Uh, not too much to really talk about, though, in terms of, like, the layout. Since we didn't get anything new in the Battle Tower, in terms of, you know, abilities or anything of that ilk, uh, it really isn't a test of things you've recently gotten. I mean, we battled in Battle Tower, but we did that before, and I don't think it really changed my experience, other than, man, I really hate slimes more than I would've had I not gone through Battle Tower. Anyway, though, here is where the actual fountain is. Since we didn't get it in the last dungeon, it's kinda just in the overworld, which I guess is kinda neat? That's not a bad idea, I guess. A little bit of overworld exploration is always nice, and at this point especially, the game really wants you to do more exploring. With the elephant dance. So, of course, the elephant dance was also in Shantae 1, though it's, I wouldn't say different this time. Got a bit of an upgrade. Uh, this, of course, will all be familiar. Uh, the elephant's whole thing is, it's very slow, but it's very powerful. It can do a charge that breaks blocks, and it has one other ability at the start. So, let's wait a sec to do that second move, and yeah, now, the, the elephant is gigantic in this game. <laughs> like, it was definitely bigger than a standard Shantae in the original, but not by much, I don't think? Wasn't as big as it is here. This is a very large form. But yeah, right there, that block is there to teach you that Elephant can actually just charge over gaps. 
that first jump is actually kind of hard to pull off because I think what happens is breaking blocks will actually stop your charge and so I screwed that one up a lot because the block was stopping my charge and sending me down the hole. But yeah, as long as you have enough distance, uh, you can just slide across a pit. It's actually a pretty cool and, you know, relatively useful ability. Well, maybe not useful, but it's cool to add to puzzles, you know? I kinda Donkey Kong-esque jump. Anyway, hello, how's it going? Hello, new friends. Am I being mugged? You have to tell me if you're mugging me. I'm a little more alarmed. Um, yep, the only one, yes. See, this is just very specific information. Okay, yeah, no. Th these are zombies, and they're talking about a sister. Roddy Tops mentioned her brothers at the start of the game, so here they are. I really like their designs. This is Abner Cadavar and Poe. <laughs> these might be my favorite NPCs? I don't know. I, I like a lot of the Shantae characters. They're all charming. Like, Roddy Tops is also good. And thankfully, they know where our next stop is. Which is good because I didn't know what my next stop is. <laughs> I had nothing telling me. I just got an elephant and you're way more on the ball than I am. Uh, but now we know that the Hypno Baron has a very well-guarded entrance. Very well-guarded labyrinth. Uh, so, yeah, no, we just get introduced to this. It would be not impossible to get into this place we only just heard about. But thankfully, all we need to do is make these guys coffee, and they'll let us in. Oh yes, of course, that'll rule. Yep, so if you see a zombie out in the wild and it tries to kill you, it hasn't had coffee. Those mugs about, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee, deadly serious. If a zombie hasn't had their coffee, don't talk to them, they will kill you. If a zombie has had their coffee, though, no, civilized. That is the distinction between zombie sentience and zombie sapience. It's a very important thing to remember. You need caffeination for zombie sapience, or you're getting nowhere, other than just getting your brain eaten. Although, to be fair, Roddy Tops also wants to eat Shantae's brain, but I guess it's in a fun way. She's had her coffee, she just still likes eating brains. But she'll ask for consent first. That or challenge you to a game. I don't know. Whatever works. Alright, so right here, uh, I'm just going back to the save point real quick. Uh, don't mind me, I didn't want to watch that cutscene over and over again. Uh, despite the fact that we're about to see another scene that's kind of optional, you can skip this next part, but uh, we're gonna go back to Roddy Tops, and I mean, look, she didn't have anything useful to say between this last encounter, or our first encounter and here, but now, a little more information, it's worthwhile speaking to her. And I'm just going to kill you with this Wrecking Ball. Thank you very much. I do not care about your ability to fly. Alright, so here we are in the area. I'm so thankful the caravan doesn't move anymore. That was such an annoying gimmick. You basically had to save your warp squids, or you were going to be frustrated with the zombie caravan's whole gimmick. But no, now it's just here with that awful, awful skeleton horse. So this is stuff we already know, of course, but we kind of learned from the first Roddy Tops conversation that she will sometimes just tell us things we already know. Her information network is efficient, but also she's not a mind reader. She doesn't, she doesn't know what we know. And yeah, Shantae's still incredibly distrustful of Roddy Tops, even though Roddy seems to like her. She has nothing but good things to say about you, Shantae. So why don't you just trust her and her brothers? Anyway though, uh, I said that was a useful conversation. It really isn't. All she told us is that a coffee machine exists, and that maybe we can ask the, uh, chef to find coffee beans. Neither one of those bits of information are actually useful. 
Anyway though, first, here's this. Uh, this isn't useful for finding anything coffee-related, but man, this is just a really cool room. It's just doing the whole, like, silhouette thing, the, the very striking silhouette, the, the single-color background. This always looks really cool. It's such a simple effect, but, like, it looks rad every time. The heart holder, however, does not have a silhouette. It's very bright. It's very bright, except it doesn't cast light on Shantae somehow. I really don't know how light works in there, don't ask me. Alright, so we're basically just gonna go back and forth uh, through the forest here for a bit. Uh, there are a few areas we already explored. Uh, there was a chest used to find some uh, uh, jam that we've already explored because we got the monkey. It left past some trees, got that. There's the uh, squid warp, of course. However, there's this big wall right here we couldn't do anything about. I mean, we could get up here, is the thing. We could climb all the way up uh, with the monkey. However, when you get down here, you've got just a big old pit. There is another solution, I think, to this puzzle, if I remember correctly, but once you have elephants, you can just dash past the pit and earn yourself another magic jam. I mean, you're gonna want these. Uh, look, eventually you're gonna have enough money and jam to buy some cool stuff, so stockpile all the jam you can get while you can. There's only so many, but you want it ASAP. Just have things faster, it'll work out for you. Anyway, uh, the descent is a lot worse than the climb here, mainly because of the bitey guys over here. These little bitey bats whom I don't like. So yeah, just be careful when falling. Uh, hopefully you don't fall on this guy. I don't think I ever did. And be careful because... There are some guys here. Oh, hey! I just saw you spawn! You just appeared! You can't do that, that's not allowed. Oh well, thankfully that didn't take me by surprise, so... That's pretty much the hardest thing I'm gonna do all episode, so that's good. No more challenges. For Shantae, anyway. For somebody else, on the other hand, well... We'll get to that in a minute. So let's see, there is the warp to our right, and again, we've already got the item to the left, so... We're just gonna leap on back over here. Uh, climb the tree first, of course, get rid of you so there's no bullet heading towards me. And be wary of this man. There we go. Alright, so, uh, once I leap back, back here, uh, don't mind me, I just went to save again. Afterwards, hey, don't smash me? You're against me smashing you? Well, hey, we do have the ability to smash now, so... We did a murder. <laughs> we killed that poor man made of rocks, whose only request was to not do the thing I specifically did. I'm very disrespectful. Alright, so, new Scarecrow just dropped. Uh, thankfully that guy doesn't just screen respawn, because he's very annoying. He spits poison at you. Uh, and honestly, they kind of catch you by surprise very easily. Especially in this area. I know you're here this time, so that's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, down there is a puzzle we can't do anything about just yet. So I will wait. And I will also be patient because we're just kind of in a war zone at this point. <laughs> there are so many scarecrows. If they're not belching up clouds of poison, they are throwing pumpkin bombs at you. Oh god, so many sounds, so many explosions. That guy almost nailed me right in the face. Don't appreciate that. But at the end is Roddy Tops' broken coffee machine. Well, that doesn't seem like it's going to help anyone, huh? I mean, look, I get it. You're zombies. Maybe your gimmick is that you can only use stuff that's quote-unquote dead, and maybe zombies want a broken coffee machine. Except no, that's not the puzzle. That, that, that's, not a, that's not a cute little bit of flavor text. Where they're just like, yum yum, this coffee machine sucked. 
but it made coffee that zombies appreciate because the coffee machine is dead, you see. That's the joke. No, we're gonna have to fix this later. For the time being, at least, uh, the other item we need is in the forest as well. Uh, Roddy Tops did say to ask the chef for advice. Well, uh, if you'll recall, the chef is over on this screen over here. Uh, past these save points. Past the saddest statues. And here we are at the chef's house. So, chef, what's your advice? Oh, she loves the smell of kitchen spatter. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. So yeah, she doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> she, does, she doesn't tell you anything. She just has that text for the l rest of her life. So what you're actually supposed to do is listen to what Roddy Tops is saying and then come towards where the chef is, you know. You gotta make your way towards her house. However, on your way... If I could just pit, get past this spider without getting hurt, uh, you'll notice this giant purple rock. So you break open this rock and... I'm just gonna say it ahead of time, this is where we find the beans. First, however, we have a very long chain platforming section. Uh, I guess without the time constraints, I'm a bit better at doing this one with Monkey. So, yeah. It's, it's kind of just a whole lot of this. It, it's kind of this. Uh, I mean, we get reintroduced to the weird Saw fan things. Saw them back in the desert, and now we're seeing them a little more frequently. Okay, but what if we never saw them again, though? Can I ask that of you, Saw fans? Weird Super Mario World Saw variations. Can we just never meet again under any circumstance after I go back through this room? By the way, bit of advice. Um, you can just leap into the pit if you have enough health, which is, you know, more than like half a heart. Uh, and you will just reappear back at the last door you went through, which is the exit. You could just exit the room like that. Uh, but, you know, I, I kind of didn't do the no-hit run uh, in the last video, so... Uh, as penance, I'm just gonna do the tedious thing and do the same platforming section, but backwards, which is not really different. You're just holding left instead of right and, you know, just doing the jumps in reverse order. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Could have made it easier on myself, but I didn't. So, that's actually done. Uh, we've got the coffee machine and coffee beans. But, we can't necessarily access the next dungeon just yet. Uh, the reason being is, of course, uh, part of it at least is the coffee machine is broken, we need to fix it. So we're going to have to do that, which isn't actually going to be terribly difficult, but there's actually a few more overworld things that I would like to do. Uh, you know, we've got a new form, so we can check out some of the unlockable stuff on the map. And in addition, there's also more level. Unfortunately, uh, just gonna spoil this ahead of time as well, but the the zombie brothers did not leave themselves in the most accessible place. So we'll have to deal with that later too. For now though, gonna hop on over to the squid warp. And uh, let's actually go to lilac fields. Now normally this is the preferable warp because it's easier, and that is still true. But also, like in Pumpkin Fields, there are a few new additions, uh, like this guy right here. <laughs> this jerk who just throws a pumpkin bomb at you if you're leaping the warp. That is an unfortunate surprise, but, you know, once the surprise is gone, you know they're here, you know to avoid them. It's still way easier than Pumpkin Fields. I mean, I wish there was a warp in town, but... Eh. Before we leave, of course, I will be going to the shop and buying some new items. 
Alright, so what are we going to get today? Well... Obviously, I want the Super Silky Cream. Give me even more hair power. And next off, give me the Super Pike Ball. I want it. I now don't have any more jam left over, so I can't buy any of the other upgrades. Which sucks, I would like the Mega Pike Ball, but eh, well, we'll check out the upgraded Pike Ball later. And I guess while we're at it, I'll just buy these so I can fill out the item screen. There we go. So yeah, let's, uh, let's equip this, and we'll see it next time on Shantae! For the time being, though... Da -da -da -da, let's just hop on over to the save house. Hello, old man Saveton. Just, uh, just drop me a save, please. Mr. Save Man, bring me a save. See y'all next time. Shantae out.